Hi everybody, I'm State Senator Rich Funky, and here's our Week in Review for the 55th District. First, I want to congratulate the Victor Boys Lacrosse team and Coach Jim Andre for their unbeaten season and their state championship, the first Boys Lacrosse state title in the 55th District, I'm told. And thank you so very much for giving me bragging rights against Senator Jack Martins. And uh, way to go. Great win over Manhasset uh, over the weekend. Well, Monday started off with an incredible honor when I had a chance to meet His Eminence Cardinal Timothy Dolan in Albany to discuss the Education Investment Tax Credit. The Cardinal supports the EITC, and I do too, because it's about parental choice in education. Also on Monday, with bipartisan support, the Senate passed two of my bills to crack down on sex offenders. The first would make it a felony to fail to appear at a court hearing to determine a sex offender's risk level, whether it's one, two, or three. The second would make more information available on the state sex offender registry website. Later in the week, the Senate also passed another bill I sponsored to stiffen penalties for drivers who break the law by passing a stop school bus. The law is clear. When you see the red flashing lights on a school bus, you are required to stop. The idea is to make lawbreakers think twice before they choose to put our kids in danger. Before we capped off the session in Albany on Wednesday, the Senate also helped to observe Animal Advocacy Day by passing a series of bills to better protect our pets and other animals. On Thursday, I met with members from Unicon, or Unions and Business United in Construction, for their monthly meeting. We had a great conversation on important legislation that affects the industry. I also dropped by the Rochester Regional Library Council's annual luncheon to thank our local libraries for the important role they play in supporting our quality of life each and every day. On Thursday, East High School held an urban STEM conference to show how students are being prepared to fill the skills-based, good-paying optics jobs that are growing fast right in our community. This is the type of effort we need to continue retooling our local economy. Early Friday morning, we welcome Costco to Rochester. The discount retailer is now open to the public at the CityGate project on East Henrietta Road. It's a great store with a great reputation for treating its employees well. And it was a great weekend for local events, including the New York State Special Olympics opening ceremonies in Brockport. I had a chance to be there. The Monroe County American Legion held its annual convention. And Irondequoit held its first American Cancer Society Relay for Life. Victor and Fairport will also hold relays this coming weekend. My thanks to everybody involved for their volunteer service. And I capped off Saturday with the honor of emceeing the Boogie Woogie Bugle Bash to benefit the friendly home. On hand was Whiskey 7, a restored Douglas C-47A that was there on D-Day in 1944. What an incredible piece of history and what a great event for the friendly home. Have a great week and thanks for watching. I'm Rich Funky.